Want to turn a screenshot of a table from a PDF into usable data with perplexity in Google Sheets in just a few clicks? Welcome to Journalism AI Toolkit. In today's tutorial, I'll show you a practical workflow for anyone who works with data. How to take a screenshot of a table from a PDF document, use Perplexity AI to extract the table, and then copy and paste it into a Google Sheets file. If you've ever struggled with retyping data from PDFs or wish there was a faster way to get tabular information into your spreadsheets, this video is for you. We'll cover capturing a table from a PDF using a simple screenshot tool, uploading that screenshot to Perplexity AI to extract the table, copying the generated table and pasting it into Google Sheets so you can analyze, share, or collaborate on your data instantly. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have this time-saving workflow that turns static tables from PDFs into dynamic, editable data in your Google Drive. Let's get started. So here we are at a quarterly earnings report for Costco Wholesale. And basically, all we're going to do is create a cr screenshot of this um, quarterly report, the section of this report. This is their condensed consolidated statement of income. Um, so I use a Mac. I know that the screenshots work differently for PCs, but I do Command Shift 4. And then just drag my cursor across here. Save it like this. Mine saved directly to my desktop. I think that's the default for Max. Um, but basically, once you have that screenshot, you just go over to Perplexity, go to um, where the screenshot is located, and you can just drag it into the prompt here. You can also click on this um, paperclip icon to go search and find the file. So it'll bring this up and you can search and find the file this way. And I'm just gonna give it a simple prompt and say, or organize this information into a table. I found that even though AI tools often um, hallucinate, as they say, uh, where they you know, sort of dream up information or misinterpret something, one of the things that they're really good at is organizing data. And here's the table that it's created. Um, I've already gone through the process of doing this or compare it side by side with the original screenshot we took from this uh, document here from Costco, and it all lined up perfectly. So um, you can try this out, and I would highly recommend always checking your work, no matter what you're doing with artificial intelligence. But essentially, this is all of that data organized into a table. What I'm going to do is go down here to the bottom and hit copy. I'm going to go to a new sheet that I've created and just right click on that and hit paste. Here we can spread out the columns a little bit so it's a little bit more legible um you know you could use ai to collect this data and create like sort of a running uh tally of certain parts of you know quarterly earnings reports or annual reports or any kind of data that you have um on a pdf and then you know just be able to sort of play around with it and run some uh you know analysis on it there's another tool up here now uh, in Google Sheets. It's Google's AI tool, Gemini. And you can use this for all kinds of things. You can ask it questions like, how have net sales changed? And it gives you an answer here. Um, again, this is something you're going to have to back check and sort of do the math. I've found that, you know, after you find a method for some of these things, you can, um, you know, have a little bit more confidence that the answer is going to be correct. But basically, it says net sales for the 12 weeks ended May 11th increased 7.97% compared to the 12 weeks ended May 12th, 2024. So it's sort of a year over year analysis. And um, 
All I had to do was ask it the question. Of course, I could have gone in and done the math myself, but this is just kind of a quick and easy way to get answers. Sometimes, uh, you know, the numbers or the information that you're working with are going to be a little bit more uh, easy to sort of see whether or get a sense of whether the answer is correct or not. Um, but you do want to go back and check all of that. I come across a lot of data over um, time. Often it's in reports that are PDFs, and I find it very um, you know, frustrating that I can't drop that into a spreadsheet or into a Google sheet and be able to use it and analyze it in that way. And really, that's it. It's a pretty simple tutorial, but it has a lot of uh, potential applications, I think, I come across PDFs all the time that have tables on them, and I'm not able to really manipulate that data very easily. Sometimes you can do a screen grab of it or highlight it, but that can be really messy, especially if you're working with giant tables with lots of data. Um, you know, this is really going to be for smaller kinds of quick analysis is how I could see myself using it. Um, but I am sure that anybody who uses it is going to have a different perspective. That's kind of the interesting thing about AI these days is it's really a matter of um, sort of how you're able to uh, or what you're able to imagine um, in terms of how to use it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. We're um, coming up on closing in on our 20th original video here pretty soon. We've made a lot of uh sort of copies and short versions and long versions but in terms of original content um we're coming up on on about 20 videos we've got about 75 subscribers almost now and um over you know 50 hours of watch time it's it's been pretty incredible so follow the channel and let me know what your thoughts are and uh give us a like it helps us in the algorithm i'm told so uh thanks again we'll be back soon with more tutorials Thank you.